Do y'all see that? Brittany, I got a full hairline. <laughs> Well, hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Kyra Sean. Today's video is brought to you by Curly Me Hair. They sent me this unit to try for you guys a couple months ago. So here we are trying her out again. This is a low maintenance care routine. That means I'm not washing my wig because it's not time. Y'all know. <laughs> I be washing my wig once a year, maybe twice if I'm feeling spicy. I be walking around dirty. <laughs> Let me stop. <laughs> Cause somebody gonna be like, ew. <laughs> I only wash my wigs if absolutely necessary. A wig refresh is what we're doing in this video. And y'all, she's still giving the looks. Look, look at the movement. And it's a closure with no edges out. Yeah. So if you wanna see how I get my wig back together, make sure you stay tuned for that. As always, if you're new to the channel, make sure you go ahead and subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss anything else coming up. Also give this video a thumbs up if you wanna see more videos like this in the future. Let's go. Okay, so like I said, this unit comes to us from Curly Me Hair. This is officially my second time reviewing this wig on my channel. It is their Afro Kinky Curly pre-cut wig. Now I have reviewed their Kinky Curly and their, I believe it was Body Wave wig. And I've worn both of those out as well, but this is the one that I grabbed for the most. Compared to the Kinky Curly one, the Afro Curly is not as loose as the Kinky Curly. Once it dried down, it had a little bit more texture to it. So that's kind of why I gravitated towards this one a lot more. Hold on, is this the right one? Let me feel. Hold on, let me just grab the Kinky Curly version so I can show y'all the difference. I know some of y'all gonna be like, what? Like I told y'all, I've been packing my wigs back up. So the one on this one does say Afro Curly. So I'm pretty sure that's the correct one, but let me not mix them up. This is the Kinky curly version right here. I can tell based on the, the front. That's kinky curly. Let me hold it over here. Kinky, don't mess this up, Kai. <laughs> and then afro curly is right here. Kinky curly, afro curly. It's a lot frizzier for the kinky curly, but the afro curly has a tighter curl texture. So like I said, afro kinky curly is what I'm wearing today. It did come with the pre-cut, pre-plucked lace, as well as the elastic band in the unit. So if you wanna wear this unit glueless like I am, you can definitely do that. You can see right here in the back, I do have snags and tangles around the nape. That is common for curly wigs. That back and forth movement when you swaying your hair back and forth, I know you're doing it, cause I'm doing it. That friction that's building up around the nape is gonna cause that mat and entangling around the nape. So if you don't have it, good for you. Okay, but if you do have it, Look me too, okay? <laughs> Now today we are just doing a refresh in between my washes, meaning this is not a wash video. It's not time yet, okay? I normally go about a year between my washes. Keep up, I only wash my wigs if I need to, meaning if they real stink or they got some product in it that's kind of, you know, built up in there and it's not gonna get out with a little hoe bath, that's when I go in and wash my wigs. This one don't need that, okay? Even though she's a little, a little stinky, okay? I'm gonna go ahead and get that straight, but I'm showing you guys how I do my low maintenance care routine for my wigs, which allows my wigs to last a long time. If you're doing a whole bunch of extra in your wig, gluing it down, you're sleeping in it, expect the life of your wig to shorten exponentially. But if you do the low maintenance care routine, you won't have this bad boy for a while. So first up on my low maintenance care routine, she stank. Okay, so before I put this on my head, I'm gonna give her a little hoe bath. I got my dry shampoo and my water. All right, work that product in, scrunch it up if you need to. And I'm gonna pop it on my head. Just like this. Y'all saw I didn't put no extra product on this wig because my lace is still tinted from my last wear. So no extra product, but she is a little flat. But don't worry, we're gonna fix that. But bars, bars. <laughs> Let me clip the hair back. I told y'all we like easy, okay? And this one right here, real easy, y'all. Bring the hairs down like that. Look at the hairline. Look at the hairline. I didn't put nothing. Okay, nothing is on this wig, child. This is going by real fast. Okay, so then I'm gonna use my Nairobi mousse. All right, right around the edges. Pat that in, swirly, swirly. Again, this is a closure wig, so you're not getting the lace around your ears. It pretty much stops right here. I'm pretty sure this is a six by four. If I'm wrong, all the information for my wig will be right here on the screen, as well as in my description box. So, you know, no worries. I know I have a curly knee band. Hold up, wrap it down. I'm not spraying this wig down today. I'm wearing her glueless. Hold on, get, golly. <laughs> Here we go, here we go. Before I move on, let me use my mousse right here in the front because I do want that lift. Ooh, don't, don't. Then I'm gonna take my clips, smooth it back like this, reinforce that lift a little bit. There we go. I can do a little spot checking if I need to, get rid of some of those frizzies. Now, if I break my fingers through this hair, look what's happening. I'm getting some snags and some tangles. Guess why? C come on, t somebody tell me. It's a curly wig. You will have snags and tangles. Good job, good job. <laughs> okay, so while this is setting, I'm gonna go ahead and do my five minute face, and then we'll come back and finish up the styling, okay? Right back. All right, now I'm just gonna go ahead and fluff the hair out a little bit, pull it out. 
because I want it to be a little bit bigger. To help with that, I'm gonna use my blow dryer. Put your blow dryer on warm and high or warm and low, whatever you're comfortable with, and stretch the hair out a little bit if you feel it's a little too tight around your roots or around the ends. I'm gonna use high and warm. All right, finish fluffing it up in the back like so. So I'll take my pick and fluff it just a little bit more. Just back comb it a bit. Because I'm back combing this wig, I will get even more tangles. So that's not the brand, that's me. So if you are back combing your curly wigs and then you're saying that you're getting a lot of tangling and shedding, you did it. <laughs> Let's take off the band and see how the front is sitting. It's sitting nice. Y'all see that? Do y'all see that? <laughs> <laughs> Brittany, I got a full hairline. <laughs> My girl Brittany, AKA I Fancy Cupcakes or the Hearts and Cake 90, um, I always talk about her hairline because her natural hairline is just so pretty to me. Like it's very full. So I'm always talking about how I wish my hairline was like that, but I gotta fake it because I ain't gonna make it. All right, so I'm here for this. Oh, now how I get this tangled? Take this one off. Now if I want these to sit up like that, I can definitely use bobby pins to help but I don't think I will need to today. To finish it off, I'm gonna use some of my silk spray. I don't just use this for my synthetic wigs, I use it on my human hair wigs. If I feel like they look a little too dull or if they're a little, a little stanky, okay? Add a little hair perfume, that's, yeah, that's what that's for, okay? Mm-hmm. Now again, when you're adding all these products to your hair, you will get buildup, and I got buildup on my glasses. I know I probably should be using me an actual eyeglass cloth, but I'm gonna use this headband. <laughs> Ooh, bring on the heat, child. I'm a little sweaty. Let's wipe this off. I'm gonna put a bobby pin over here on this side just to kind of hold this back behind my ear. Bring that on down, bring it down, bring it down. Okay, y'all, so here's the final look. Like I told y'all, very simple, very easy. This is my low maintenance wig routine. This is how I keep my wigs together between washes. If this is not for you, then this is not for you, okay? You don't gotta tell me I don't wanna do that. Clearly, <laughs> <laughs> this is what I do, this one. And I think it's pretty simple. Now again, this wig does shed and tangle, especially because it's a tight curly wig. So expect the expected, okay? Now as far as the lace in the hairline, you shouldn't have no problems. Curly me, everyone should be getting this type of lace in the hairline. I did have to blend my lace in my first install. I will put that video down below so you guys can check that out again. And you may need to blend it again when you wear it the second and third time. But as you saw for this time, I didn't have to blend mine because I do have about two, three wears of caked up makeup around this lace. The lace blended really natural. The hairline is good. I didn't pluck anything out. I didn't put nothing in my parting space. I literally just put this wig on my head, add a little product here and there, fluffed her out, and that's it. This takes about five to 10 minutes, including the dry down. I don't consider them to be fast fashion just because I feel like their hair texture is a lot nicer, but I do consider them to kind of be in between that fast fashion and more of a high quality wig. I'm pretty sure this wig is around that 160-ish range. I'm pretty sure it's under 200, if I'm not mistaken. I hope not. So you don't gotta call Daddy Pop Paul the sugar babe. Maybe the sneaky link if you're feeling spicy, but you may can go ahead and put this one to the side for yourself. Okay? So. Hello. Hey, baby. Okay, well that's my cue, I gotta go, so. <laughs> Shout out one more time to Curly Me Hair for sending me this unit. I really appreciate it. I will put the direct link, my specs, and a coupon code for this unit down below. So if you guys wanna check it out, you can. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share this video. Also smash the notification bell so you don't miss anything else coming up. I love you guys so much and I will see you next time. Bye.